and order, Hampton Video operates from a mountain retreat with secret agents at all points of the globe. Possessing scientific secrets and scientific weapons, Captain Video asks no quarter and gives none to the forces of evil. Stand by for Captain Video! And here's Video Rangers! Time video rangers, you'll remember that some startling developments took place on two planets many light years apart. On Metastheros, you saw Captain Video preside over interplanetary meetings, and you watched him give Sita of Mars a few lessons in the art of physical combat. Meanwhile, back on Earth, you saw Dr. Pauly in action again, making his sinister plots to rule the world. Now let's get right into today's story as we go to the headquarters of Permis Lycos on Metastheros. How's that feel, Captain? Tight? Yeah, that's all right, Ranger. After you get through that, will you do a little something with these knuckles? Boy, you're going to use that hand, boy. Yes. Well, now that we've settled all personal differences, suppose we get down to business. That suits me fine. I've had all I want of personal business. Yes, I should think so, Peter. Yes. <laughs> Permis. What do you suggest is the correct treatment for Tursky? Well, Captain, we feel that the firmament regulations must be applied. To what extent? Well, to begin with, occupation of Tursky by the firmament police. Also, all communication with other planets to be subjected to strict censorship. And trade with other planets to be restricted. Oh, it's tough, isn't it? What else? Well... A change in the position of the firmament to an orbit that can be kept under constant watch. Naturally, all weapons of Tursen to be confiscated and destroyed. Really Each sad. Tursenarian will be required to spend a full-time cycle in farm labor. The product to be given to a peaceful planet. Right? Right. Sounds a little tough to me. The regulations are just. It's what we've done for eons. Well, gentlemen, all I know is that if you want to create everlasting hatred, it's to make slaves of your defeated enemies. And that's all that these terms would accomplish, the way I see it. Well, then, what you seem to be in favor of is uh, Earth policy, eh, Captain Video? To a degree, yes, I do. Well, Captain? Thanks, sir. What do you suggest we do? I suggest a much more moderate policy. Tursen's a defeated enemy, yes, but don't forget she's a member of the same firmament. We all are, for that matter. Just a second. I don't like this business about confiscating a weapon. For years, Mars has had a very profitable trade agreement with uh, war materials with Tursen. <clears throat> I withdraw the statement. Uh, good. Gentlemen. <laughs> As he grows older, Sita grows wiser. <laughs> Gentlemen, suppose we all sit down. Yes. Oh, yes. Let us. Now, I suggest a much more moderate policy. Why wouldn't it be perfectly reasonable to give a person a new place in the orbit? Let her have room to expand, room to breathe, as Regis put it. Captain Video, they'll think it a sign of weakness. I don't think they will, Ventura. They will, uh, they'll misinterpret it if they do. Don't forget that we're still strong enough to give orders and see that they're carried out. What do you say, Permis? I'm with you, Captain. What say you all? Agreed. Agreed. Ventura? Agreed. Good. What do you say to this plan, Captain? You and the video ranger go to Tursen as our ambassador of goodwill. There you can bring our decision to Regis himself, and then return here with any further recommendations he might care to make. That's all right with me. I'd be perfectly happy to do it. Is it all right with you, gentlemen? Why, Good. Fine. How about you, ranger? It's okay with me, sir. All right. Splendid. Metaceros. Calling Tursen, Hermes Lycos, calling Regis of Tursen. Regis in demand. 
This is Regis of Tarson. Regis, Captain Video and the Video Ranger are coming to visit you to bring our decision and will act as our special emissary. And I shall welcome your Captain's Video. This is Regis signing off. Hermes Lyco signing off. Did you hear that signal? Captain Video is coming here. We must have a plan. We must set a trap for him. We must never see that beautiful earth of his again. We'd have had Metaphoros right now if it hadn't have been for him. And I know what their terms will be. Yes. Yes, so do I. An abject surrender. Slave labor. For that fat Hermes of Jupiter. To make them all the fatter. Well, I won't put up with it. I would rather die first than see Tusson destroyed. Captain Video will undoubtedly arrive in an orbit control rocket. Yes. He will land at the usual stage. Perhaps we can arrange a surprise for him. <laughs> Captain Video, may I speak with you for a moment? Certainly. I would like to have you pay me a visit on Mars. I'd certainly be very happy to do that. Uh, why in particular would you like me to come then? I'd like you to teach my soldiers how to kill men with their bare fists. Oh, no. See that? <laughs> Never lead with your right. You're a sucker for a right cross. I see. You know, Cedar, on Earth we consider boxing a, a sport. It teaches you uh, how to defend yourself, teaches you good sportsmanship, teaches you skill, teaches you how to avoid right crosses, too. Huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, one thing more. No mention must be made of our little match on Mars. Don't worry. This is strictly between you and me. <laughs> An excellent conference. Uh, one trouble with it, though. It kept me from these luscious Jupiter grapes. <laughs> <laughs> well, farewell, Hermes. Farewell. Farewell, Premier Blackhawk. Farewell, Ventura. Farewell, Ranger. Sita. Right. And now, we must make some necessary arrangements for your trip to Tursen. Well, first, I'd like to contact Earth. I'd like to tell them what's been going on here. Yeah, I'd like to find out what's been going on down there. So would I, Ranger. Well, tell me, do you wish to use the rocket technique, Captain, or rely on the time lapse for a voice message? I think the rocket would be much faster and much more efficient. I know the exact trajectory, anyway. And I'd like to send a message to Commissioner Bell and one to uh, the laboratory as well. Ready? I feel like a million dollars. Never mind bringing me any mess. And uh, incidentally, I've had news from Blakesley. He's hot on the trail of Dr. Falk. Ah, good man, that Blakesley. Even with all his yoikes and pip pips and so on. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bell? Oh, it's better to haul the record. Hey, uh, you heard anything from Captain Video? Wouldn't you like to know? Now, listen to me. That broadcast you made was a phony, Commissioner. You told the people that Captain Video and the Ranger's still alive. They'd soon appear in person. That's right. Ah, uh, well, I happen to know that's impossible. I checked all the astronomical sources, and that planet Metaphero can't even be seen. You know, my column's gonna say that you've rigged up identical doubles to Captain Video and the Ranger, too. And that you'll show these doubles to all the people, just to delude them. You know that you're right, Hall. Except that we didn't hire doubles. We hired the twin brothers of the captain and the ranger. Why, you, you, my... <coughs> Commissioner Bell calling Jordan, identifying numeral 704. Come in, Jordan. Uh, Jordan, station one, numerals 104. Go ahead, Commissioner. Jordan, I've only had one rocket message from Captain Video. Have there been any more? No, Commissioner, but our instruments are registering the same electric charge that they showed before the first rocket landed. Now, that should mean that another rocket is on the way. Good, then uh, contact me, Jordan, uh, when it lands. I certainly will. 
Jordan signing off. Commissioner Bell signing off. We'll return to Captain Video in one minute. You know, Video Rangers, if you ask almost anybody, who was Betsy Ross? Quick as a wink, they'll tell you why she made the first American flag. But how many of us know anything at all about George Ross, Betsy's uncle by marriage? Well, George Ross was one of the signers of our Declaration of Independence. One of the men who was willing to risk charges of treason and death, if need be, to preserve the rights and privileges of his countrymen. Well, many times we take these hard-fought-for privileges, our American heritage of freedom of thought and action, for granted. They are so much a part of us that we feel they never could be taken away. But in the world today, there are those who would destroy our American heritage, who would tear down our ideals, trample underfoot the flag that came into being under the skillful fingers of Betsy Ross. So let's be alert and realize as Americans that freedom is everybody's job, Video Rangers. Now let's get back to our story. As communications rockets flashed with the speed of light between Metasparrows and Earth, the remote carrier beam was functioning swiftly too, as it brought Captain Video's special agent into sharp focus. What's happened here? I reckon you know it, you wouldn't be here. Which one of you is Turner? I'm Turner. The Callahan girl brought word that a fella named the Whistler murdered Jerry Blake. There's a few things wrong with those remarks. In the first place, Miss Callahan never said it was murder. And in the second place, my name never is... Never mind that. You killed a man. The sheriff called it murder, and I call it murder, and we hang murders in this county. Now, what do you think of that? No use getting hard about it. You're a posse, not a legend, Mom. And the sheriff here is an officer of the law. The sheriff will do what I say. I'm running this. I've sort of figured that way. All right, what's next? Unbuckle your gun belt, Mr. U.S. Marshal. So you know me. Yeah, we know you all right. But no one can ever prove we knew you to be anything but a murder resistant arrest. You'll never take my guns except in smoke. No, no. The six rifles out there drawing a beat on you right now. Only six. Well, I thought there must be a dozen of them, judging by the noise they made blundering through the brush. Well, I reckon you've got me. Drop that gun. Tell your friends behind me not to move, or you fall drop. Don't worry, Whistler. If one of them should move, his light would go out quick. Drop those guns, you hombres. Damn horses and get out in the open. That'll be far enough. March on down there. Pronto. Victor, Dr. Pauley. Yes, yes. I've completed the atomic disintegrator according to the plans you gave me. Well, then, bring it in. I want it immediately. Why waste my time with telephone calls? This 
is Dr. Foley. This is Dr. Foley. That works. Ah, yes. My ultraplanetary transmitter is a success, as I knew it would be. Yes, now. Now to fill the whole sky until contact with Ultima Orions is established. This is Dr. Foley calling Ultima Orions in the outer limits. Dr. Foley to Ultima Orions. Captain Goodyear and the video ranger, come here quickly. What is it, Harry? Listen. This is Dr. Foley calling Ultima Orions in the outer limits. This is Dr. Foley to Ultima Dr. Orions. Foley. I wonder what's happened to Blakely. Dr. Foley's alive and on the loose again, sir. We've got to call off this trip to Tursen. No, Ranger, we've still got to Tursen. Blakely hadn't let us down yet. Excuse me. Yes? Interplanetary strip reporting. A rocket from Earth has just landed. Bring it here as soon as it cools. It will be brought. Right. Well, we'll have to wait and see what's in this rocket. It's probably an answer from Commissioner Bell. Well, how about your trip to Tursen, Captain? Well, it won't take long before that rocket cools. We'll be able to read the message right away. Go ahead. Call Regis and tell him we're starting right away. Right. Hermes Lycos calling. Regis of Tursen. Hermes Lycos calling. Regis of Tursen. Regis in demand. This is Regis of Tursen. Regis, Captain Video and the Video Ranger will be on their way to you within a half a time cycle. Excellent. I shall see that a proper welcome is prepared for Captain Video. What means of transportation are they going to use? In one of my orbit control units. Excellent. Excellent. I shall be certain to treat Captain Video as he deserves to be treated. This is Regis of Tursen signing off. This is Hermes Lyco signing off. Hi. Hi. The Iron is calling Earth in the eighth time cycle. Moral to Dr. Foley. Respond. This is Dr. Foley. I am receiving you. Good. I am Moral, Chief of the Army of Ultima Oren. Ah, yes. Ultima Oren welcomes this contact with you, Dr. Foley. She would speak to you first. She is busy with interplanetary affairs. Yes, I see, I see. Tell me, what have you learned about the planet Metasteros? Metasteros is in excellent condition. Firm in its orbit, safe from attack. What? I, my first report told me that it had been blasted. On the contrary, Dr. Foley, from what we have heard over the ultra short wave, it is certain that it's in great danger through the intervention of Captain Video. Uh, video. That is what I wanted to talk to Ultima about. I wish to visit her. Perhaps I can help her annex Metasteris and Tessen and kill Captain Video as we do it. Ultima Orion will welcome your visit. Excellent. Excellent. I shall use atomic integration same as I did the last time. Good. I will switch on the atom collection. You will be reassembled whenever you wish. Ah, excellent, excellent. Everything is ready here on Earth. I will wait until the sun is at its zenith. No. You had better wait until the sun has reached the focal point of its orbit, Dr. Foley. Otherwise, the intense heat will scatter your atoms beyond hope of reassembly. Ah, yes, yes. Good. Then signal me when everything is ready. Understood. Moral signing off. Dr. Foley, signing off. Ah, uh, how is Captain Video going to feel when he learns that I, Dr. Foley, his bitter enemy, has also reached the outer limits? <laughs>
We'll get back to Captain Video in one minute. Rangers ever tackle a job you really look forward to doing? Oh boy, you say, rubbing your hands together, that's for me, that's right up my alley. Well, there's one big job that's right up everybody's alley, Rangers. That's the job of fighting discrimination. Seeing to it that the next fellow gets a fair chance, regardless of his race or religion. We've all got a talent for that, if we know how to use it. It comes under the heading of friendship. When we like people and are genuinely interested in them, there's no room for an American prejudice. So all we have to do is to keep on making new friends, easy as pie. There's another reason why fighting discrimination ought to be up everybody's alley, because those who turn thumbs down on one race or religion one day are just as apt to turn against a race or religion another day. Yours maybe, who knows? So when you fight for an equal chance for everyone in your club, on your team, in jobs of all kinds, you're fighting your own battle too, Rangers. Now back to Captain Video. As Dr. Pauly spun his sinister plot, back at the Mountain Laboratory, the scanning equipment showed other plots and other intrigue as Captain Video's special agent battled for his life. Captain. That must be the rocket message now. Thank you, Belusa. Here we are, Captain. Right. A little bit worse for wear, but... Mm. Oh, it's from Commissioner Bell, all right. What does he say? He congratulates us. He wants us to get home right away. There's a press is after. Oh, really? As it always is. Says Dr. Pauly is causing trouble again. Well, Blake says he can take care of Dr. Pauly, can He's going to have to, Ranger. He get back. Send, uh, Mr. Bell a reply, hmm? And tell him. It's a little difficult to write with this. Right. His knuckles. They're pretty tight. Tell him that Blake's late. 
is to refer everything to Blakesley until we get back. Now, Perry, will your rocket launching department get this off right away? I will attend to it myself, Captain. All right. And while you're doing that, do you mind if I contact Orbit Control? Oh, you did not ask, Captain. My laboratory and everything in it is completely yours. All right. Well, Ranger, we're going to have to make this a short trip to Thurston, because I also want to stop off the planet Mars. I want to study the structure of that planet. And teach C to the old one, too, huh? <laughs> Maybe we can. Captain Video to Orbit Control. Come in, Orbit Control. Captain orbit. Video calling Orbit Control. Control, Orbit Control, reporting to Captain Video. Everything set for our trip? Everything is ready, Captain. The rocket is fueled and waiting for you. All right, we'll be right there. That's all, Captain Video signing off. Orbit Control signing off. Okay, Ranger, let's go. Off to Thursday. <laughs> right. Ah, I think traps for Captain Video set. Everything is ready, Ray. Good. And we'd best be off to the landing stage. And signal. Remember, be sure to act casually, as if there was nothing the matter at all. We don't want them to suspect a thing. By the way, Reagan, I just overheard an ultra-short wave message from someone named Dr. Pauly. He was trying to reach Ultima Aureus. Dr. Pauly. Dr. Oh, I know that name. He's the Earth man who managed to make the interplanetary passage by disintegration. Ultimate Orius, of course. That's who should be here when Captain Video arrives. Yes. Yeah. Contact her immediately. Tell her that I want her here as soon as she possibly can. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we shall not only set a trap for Captain Video, we shall have some fun. Tell her to be sure to, to disguise herself. Disguise herself so completely that not even Captain Video and his ranger will recognize her. <laughs> Person to the outer limit, the seventh time cycle. Signum calling Ultima Aureus. Captain Video pierce her disguise and avoid the cunning trap that's been set for him. Well, we'll have the answers to those questions next time we meet Video Rangers. So stand by until then, when it'll be the same time, same station for Captain Video and his Video Rangers. Captain Video is played by Richard Coogan, Video Ranger by Don Hastings, Dr. Polly by Hal Conklin. Captain Video is written by M.C. Brock and directed by Larry White. Your announcer has been Fred Scott. This is the Dumont Television Network.